Hi, in this video I want to go over some quick troubleshooting if your FED3 does not seem to be connecting to your computer. You plug it in um, and you don't see it in the Arduino IDE and you can't flush code. So I've got two FED3s here which will help me with troubleshooting and I'm going to go over a couple quick things that um, could be causing the hiccup. The first is that when we look at this inside the FED3 we have this ADA logger board. There is a micro USB port on the board and then there's another micro USB port on the FED3 board itself. This one on the outside is only for charging the battery. Um, you can plug it into it, you can charge the battery, that's fine. But if you want to flash code, we have to do it on this internal USB port. So make sure you're plugged into the correct USB port. The second point I want to make is that there's a switch on the PCB. I just turned it off um, in the up position. That really cuts power to everything on the, the ADA logger board, to the USB controller and everything. So you can't flash code while it's in the off position. Make sure that's in the on position. And then the last thing, um, if we double click, you should end up seeing this breathing mode on the ADA logger. So I'll try to hold it here. And you can see it's a soft breathing. It's not a, a rapid flashing of the red light. The red light should not be on constantly. It should be in this breathing um, kind of mode. And now you're ready to flash code. So if I go over here to the Arduino IDE, um, I'm on this dispenser um, example program. It doesn't really matter. Um, but we want to be on the right board, the Adafruit Feather M0. And then you should see it in the port, the Adafruit um, Feather M0. And that will let you flash code to it. So those are two things that could go wrong. If neither of those are the issue, if you're um, still having trouble, you may want to figure out if the issue is the, the ADA logger board itself, like maybe something's wrong with it, um, or is it the, the PCB, the, the FED3 board? And the best way to, to figure this out is to have a second FED. Um, so if you've got two, um, you, can, you can swap the parts around. So I'm going to show you here is how to remove this ADA logger. Um, it's pretty simple. I'll tell you the things you want to watch out for in terms of damaging it are this uh, micro SD part. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on, you know, you don't want to be pushing down hard on the micro SD card um, because it's got little pins in there and that's a little bit of a fragile part. Everything else is pretty, um, pretty fine and pretty robust. If you pull up on it right here, I can kind of, oh, this one's not even, um, I can pull it right out. Um, I have a little battery connector on here. Let me just remove that. So this is the ADA logger board. And assuming I had a Fed that was not, you know, I wasn't able to get it into the bootloader, what I can do now is just plug this in directly. And then I can double click it. I should put it into that breathing mode. Hopefully you can see that there. Um, and now we can test if we're able to, um, to flash anything. You can flash one of the Fed examples. I often, for flashing examples, I like to use this blink um, it's a very simple program. Let's go over here and let's flash it. What this program is going to do is blink this red LED on for one second and then off for one second. And now it's been flashed. So hopefully you can see right there that it's turning on once a second and off once a second. So now that we know that the ADA logger itself is not the issue, um, if you're still having issues, that would pretty much localize it to the, the Fed PCB. What I'd advise at this point um, is if you have a second Fed that you know is working, um, you can try to swap the parts around. So essentially take the working ADA logger off of here, put it into the one that's not working. Um, if it kind of tracks with the PCB itself, you know there's an issue there. Um, or if it's tracking with the ADA logger, um, then you've narrowed down that issue. So hopefully this helps to um, kind of do some basic troubleshooting if you're having trouble getting the Arduino IDE to recognize the Fed3.